First, pour a mixture of honeys, then wine, then water. Make a blood offering to the gods and promise them 100 others upon your return to Ithaca. Sprinkle the libation with a little white barley flour. Then make a blood offering to the gods and promise them 100 more upon your return to Ithaca. Turn towards the riverbed and wait. Many deceased souls will gather, but hold your sword against your leg. Do not move and do not let the dead ones approach the blood before Tiresias appears. Powerful immortals, you find me here before you to once again implore your mercy. Accept these offerings, and wise souls, hear my prayer. Take this honey that comes to us from Olympus, and let thin Tantalus forget his thirst for just an instant. This honey I offer you comes from him. Accept this wine, which you know well, for it is true there is no better wine than that produced by the vines of the Elysian fields. Accept this water which fifty barefoot maids poured for you. And finally, accept this flower given to me by an innocent little girl. Provided with all that, I beg you, living souls, to appear before me. among the most potent and wisest soothsayers, this blood is for you. For you I have chosen the blood of the bravest, if most unfortunate, of all titans. I promise you one hundred more sacrifices and one hundred more prayers, if it should please you to deign to appear before me. Horatius, let us drink. Take pity on us. Our suffering is horrible. Heed your heart. I've offered this libation for the soothsayer Tiresias. You shall not pass. who have come all this way to see me. I am Herisius. Circe, 
the sorceress, advised me to come to the netherworld to meet you. Will you be able to help me? If you allow me to take sustenance at your feast, I shall call upon my powers, and I shall help you. Now stand aside and allow me to honor your offering. Are you the soothsayer I seek? If so, you must know why I have come. Yes. I am he who is called Tiresias, the soothsayer. I know through my faculties that you seek your childhood friend. You've come to me in search of answers. Now stand aside and allow me to honor your offering. Then tell me quickly where he is, so that I may quickly find him and bring him back to Ithaca. He's on Ogygia, Calypso's island. There he oscillates between imprisonment and discouragement, smothered in the nymph's love. Alas, I can say no more, for the future belongs to those who understand it. But I can help you leave this place where you do not belong. These three crystals will show you how. What happens next depends on the will of the gods. Go now, and let me rest. Thank you. 
Yes, I was expecting you. For the time has come where we must confront our viewpoints. And I suppose that does not mean just a simple discussion. No, to be sure. Mortal, we shall fight a duel that I would like to be fair. That's why you once again have all your weapons. Your generosity surprises me, Poseidon. Yet the gods act according to their whims, without considering the consequences. If someone bothers them, they curse him. If someone defies them, they kill him. Why should you act otherwise? Why this duel? Why give me a chance to survive? Gods have plans that you can't perceive. The liberation of Ulysses depends on the outcome of this duel. If you win, I shall let you go to Calypso, who, thanks to me, is suffocating Ulysses with her love. If you lose, you shall return to that netherworld you never should have left. That's a very one-sided wager. You put up a mere defeat against my life. You're in no position to speak thus, mortal, and I shall prove it. It's up to me to choose three attacks. Three attacks. The gods have entrusted me with a message, Heresius. They have seen your courage, and the outcome of the duel is certain. Therefore, you may return to the world of the living and free your friend. Henceforth, there shall be no opposition. The gods witnessed the fight? The gods ordered this combat to take place to ensure that the Ulysses matter is settled quickly. Please thank the gods for me. There is no need to thank them, for they acted out of necessity, not clemency. For ten years, the gods have been unable to decide Ulysses' fate. That situation had to cease. Your intervention did the rest. You are to go to the nymph Calypso, and inform her that Zeus, in his great wisdom, has decided to free Ulysses. But how can I go there? I don't even know where I am. Have no fear. You will go there. The important thing is that you deliver the message to Calypso, and that the gods will be done. So my quest is coming to an end. That depends on you, Heresius. It depends on what you call your quest. Go now, and bear my message to the nymph Calypso. You? 
Jesus. Hermes reached the remote island, left the violet-colored water, and once on dry land, went to the vast cave where the nymph with the lovely braids lived. She was singing with her lovely voice inside the cave and weaving on her loom with a golden shuttle. Face to face with him, Calypso did not fail to recognize Hermes. Why has Hermes, with his golden wand, whom I revere and who is dear to me, come here? Zeus said that you have near you the most miserable of all the heroes who fought for nine years around the city of Priam. And Calypso answered, You gods are stubborn. Out of jealousy, you prevent goddesses from sleeping openly with men each time one of us takes a man we love to our bed. If Zeus gives the order for this mortal to go and be lost on the sterile sea, I shall not lead him there under any circumstances, but instead, I will hide nothing from him and suggest in good faith the way to reach his homeland unharmed. sleep now. May the night be gentle, noble Homer. <laughs>